How's it going everyone and thanks for tuning in. What if I told you that the most racist vegan there is, is not a white vegan, it's actually a black vegan. Now first off, I just wanna say I do not support trying to defame other animal rights activists because their activism is not what I expect it to be or because their content is not something that I resonate with personally. I think it does way more harm than good, but I think no one is immune from being called out. Vegan Lita, an intersectional black vegan activist, or activist as she'd like to call it, thought it was okay to post a video saying this. I think I'd rather you just call me a slur. Now imagine how on fire that vegan teacher would be if she were to make a video saying, don't call me bro, sis if you're black. All this does is cause division. Now, look at this video. Do you really think that that's something that's going to resonate with people and change their mind on racism in the real world? <laughs> Absolutely not. I thought this was funny because this specific person does a lot of lingering onto other people, popular animal rights activists in particular. White vegans have done it yet again and have found another way to make the vegan movement look bad. Here are some of your favorite vegans that don't believe in denouncing white supremacy. So my friend Tara the Taurus, who's an amazing intersectional vegan activist, posted this onto her story asking white vegans with really huge platforms to denounce white supremacy. Instead of doing so, Joey Carbstrong went to Starbucks, freely blocked Tyra, along with a few other people, which really isn't surprising. She's probably one of the worst vegan activists to ever touch the internet. I do not know why some of y'all still support her. Rob Banks went on Facebook Live and claimed that the black community is very lazy for not standing up for their own rights. And the one I found probably the most disgusting was a natural vegan's response, where she says that she doesn't believe racism is common. How are you gonna tell black women that you don't believe racism is common? What do you know about experiencing racism? This doesn't really come to a surprise either considering her horrible videos about Black Lives Matter and vegans supporting Black Lives Matter after George Floyd was killed. You could have just denounced white supremacy. She makes these TikToks saying that this animal rights activist hasn't denounced white supremacy or this animal rights activist hasn't denounced white supremacy as if all of these animal rights activists who are fighting against speciesism, the biggest form of oppression would be for racism. That doesn't make sense. And actually out of every single group, vegans tend to be the least racist. I mean, it only makes sense to be against the oppression of animals, but then for the oppression of people of color. And another thing I'd like to add is intersectionality is great. But do you think this woman is going to the pages of Sean King and telling him to fight for animal rights? Nah, <laughs> not a chance. And in fact, she herself doesn't focus on other issues like uh, anti-Semitism or what goes on with Jewish people and how they're discriminated against. The only reason she's trying to pressure vegans into talking about racism is because it affects her. I think it would be smart to go to a civil justice activist instead of an animal rights activist, you know? if you want to promote anti-racism. Sorry, but the animal rights movement is for promoting anti-speciesism. And if you're not for that, then you're simply not vegan and you simply are inconsiderate of the animals and the suffering that they go through because it's far worse than any, anything any human has into, ever encountered. But just the authority that this person has to say this about white people, that white people can't call her a sister or they can't call you a bro simply because they're white and that you would rather them call you a slur, you're taking history back like 200 years. You want them to be aggressive towards you and call you bad names. You don't want them to call you sis. You, you want them to call you a slur. But it's funny because she actually made a TikTok calling out that vegan teacher for trying to redefine the N-word to be something good. Well, that's funny and kind of contradictory, isn't it? Because she just said that she would rather be called that slur rather than be called a cis. So in this situation, what can that vegan teacher do that's, that's right in, in, in your point of view? I'm, I'm just curious because you'd rather be called a slur than be called a cis or a brother or a relative by a white person just because of their skin color. This is doing nothing for black people. It's doing nothing for animal rights. 
these type of TikTok videos are not helping anyone. They're discriminatory and it's just gonna cause controversy. So I think it's best that that type of content should be avoided. Another thing that I thought that was funny and that I should point out is that she's not usually wearing her real hair anymore as she used to. Now, firstly, I think her real hair looks great, but, but now she has gone on to make her hair seem as if she were white. Now, personally, I am very happy at the way my hair looks. Um, I like my hair as a black person and I do not need to change it for any reason, but you're wearing these wigs that resembles the hair of a white person, but then you're insulting white people and saying they can't call you cis and things like that. Meanwhile, you're not even comfortable in your own beautiful black hair. That's pretty odd if you ask me. So my opinion is that we can always check ourselves before we check others. And if there's something that I need to be checked on, then I'm, I'm sure someone will call me out on it. I really hope they do and I can change it because I'm always trying to better myself as a person. But if you're posting things like this, saying that white people can't call you a sister or they can't call you a brother and you're trying to divide races and then you're claiming that you care about social justice and uh, ending racism and ending speciesism, you're part of the problem when you're making videos like that. Now, I acknowledge things like white privilege exists, but the white veganism whole concept is a no whole nother topic. And if you know of this person specifically, she makes a lot of videos of that sort. So I'm gonna dive into that in another video. I hope this gave you some insight on this person and what you can really use against them if they're making these sorts of false claims like white veganism or this person is racist because they didn't denounce white supremacy or but like I said before, <laughs> vegans are the least racist group of people on this planet. The people who can look at animal cruelty today and sit back and ignore it, it's the same people who would look at slavery back then and sit back and, and ignore it. Or the Holocaust, the Jewish Holocaust, and sit back and ignore it. Those same people are looking at the animal Holocaust right now. They're sitting back and they're laughing at the people who are trying to defend animals and they're ignoring it. Just as slave owners and the Nazis did back in a day. It's absolutely no different.